Hold up, y'all. I know, I know last week we, we kind of missed out, but we still got to talk about it. Y'all see who went to Dallas? Yeah. Who's going to help Luca? Kyrie Irving traded Kyrie to the Dallas Kyrie Irving. Mavericks. Man, that was huge, dude. That was huge. Close to the um, – I know it was a little bit earlier than the Kevin Durant trade, but that was yeah, still yeah. huge, 100%. I've been saying it for a long time. Yeah. I think what Dallas needed was a secondary star for Luca. Luca's not going to be able to win it just by himself. I think the Mavericks were stuck in that mentality that they had Dirk at that point in time in the 2010 – 2011 championship yeah. and they just surrounded them with all former all-stars or semi all-stars yeah, yeah. and a good quad right which don't get me wrong i i think um it worked for the mavericks i just don't think in today's nba that's not going to work anymore given the fact that everyone wants to go and create their own super team and given that most of the championship runs that have been done in the last decade always have at least two stars in them uh two yeah. guys that can score the rock over 20 points right yeah. but no definitely dude it's going to be exciting i want to see what luca does with Kyrie. i want to see what Kyrie does with luca they're both ball dominant players, so it's gonna take a little bit of left possession away from Luka Doncic, but I think they can work it out and uh hopefully they can, man, because knowing goddamn well with Kyrie, all I'm saying is if we hear Kyrie say at the end of the season he's for sure gonna sign with the Mavericks, he's going to another team. He is right. because he has a track record of that. He has a track record. The Cavaliers, he said he was gonna resign, asked for a trade. Celtics said he was gonna resign, asked for a trade. Uh, with the Nets, said he can't leave Kevin Durant there by himself. Ask for a trade. So it's going to be interesting, man. Man has a record. He has that and that, you know, shoddy ass record of actually coming in to want to play, you know what I mean? But you yeah. know, we won't get into all that, yeah. all that bullshit. But I do think that trade that happened with Kyrie going to the Mavs to help Luke out, because that's what Luca needed. We've yeah. seen it before. <laughs> and And the one thing you touch base on it, too, is, you know, Mavs were stuck in old mentality for the longest. 100%. Just having one one star and then put semi like has good like, yeah, a good roster on really him, good but bench, but they never put that anybody that backs him up completely. I, don't get me wrong. I mean, Jason Terry that last that 2011 finals was shooting the threes like nothing, like crazy, looking like Curry out there before Curry. But no, yeah, yeah, definitely. But the funny thing too is that you know you mentioned it too. The both Luke and Kyrie are ball dominant, ball dominant and, and I don't know if you caught. Uh, this last game they had against the, I believe it was the Grizzlies. Kings. No, no. What, Grizzlies, Kings, well, oh, no, the Kings. You're right. Kings, sorry. <laughs> they were <laughs> passing the ball back and forth, trying to give each other the last shot. They couldn't decide who was going to make the final yeah, shot. I, I like that, though, man, because yeah. there's no ego there. It's not like yeah. Kyrie was like, give me the ball and I'm going to shoot it. It wasn't right. Luka, give me the ball, I'm going to shoot it. If the fact that they were passing it to each other go, just goes that they trust another one enough that they're taking right. a shot and their ego is like, hey, you take it. It's cool if you take it. Right. I don't care. Oh, it's cool if you take it. I don't yeah. care. That, yeah. I think, is like you need a selfless player. And if yeah. Kyrie can adapt to it, because uh -huh. Kyrie's been the second option before. Let's not forget yeah. that in the Cavaliers team. That's why I do yeah. like the fact that they went out and got Kyrie. Yeah. Yes, Kyrie has an yeah. equal for sure. But at the end of the day, I think he's fine being the second option at this point in his career. Right. He left the Cavs because he wasn't satisfied being the second option. Went to the Celtics, went to the Nets. I think he's come to a point in realizing that, hey, I'm okay being that second option, not the yeah. first yeah. option guy. Going to Dallas, I think, is going to be a perfect fit for him. Not unless, we'll not, happens, not unless you not lock both of them down, which is, we yeah. saw the Kings knew how to get both of them. Yeah. And yeah. there's the blueprint for the rest of the NBA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially my sons. I don't want another <laughs> shit happen like last year. What do you think, man? Um, going to be a great fit for Dallas? I do. And, and the reason why is because I know that eventually they were going to learn how to stop um, Luka if he was by himself at all times. Like, he didn't have anyone that he can – literally like pass a ball to it and like just run it in interesting and, and now there's going to be a, a really big threat even if even if um irving stays out just to give uh luca the ball like once he's in and makes a run because luca's always going to find space yeah that's that's what he's good at he he can easily go in and, and make a two point um and it's a it's almost like a guaranteed two point as soon as he gets the ball especially if you if you find space so if there's, you don't think so? No, no, it is. I just hated the fact that it does happen yeah. like that. So and, and even great. even he's when great. they're like, yeah, and even when they're like pressing him hard, he still gets it. He still gets it in. So now if there's someone with such a caliber like him, yeah. distracting one or two players, he's gonna create so much space for him that it's just gonna be like done deal. Um, maybe one team might be um, like okay at defending them. But it's just going to be, they're going to be so dedicated in defending yeah. that it's just going to be so hard for them to then go and score points. I agree. Interesting. 
I do think though one thing that the Dallas Mavericks have to do is load up their load up their bench because I yeah. don't think they're going to win it all this year. I still think that the Warriors would have a really great chance of pushing out of the West. Yeah, um, the Nuggets don't sleep on the Nuggets. People still know. forget about what Jokic is doing out there, but I still think they have to build up a really good bench around that Mavs team. And then I personally believe if they build up a good bench, they're going to be one of the scariest teams in the West. I mean, still you got the Suns out there with Kevin Durant, but we'll see what happens this offseason of the way whether he stays or not. Uh, you never know, but. Who would you put in the bench for him? For Luca? Well, I don't even know who bench players they still have at this point. Really? I know they traded Spencer Dinwiddie, which is kind of funny because, I mean, the Brooklyn Nets got rid of him and then and he they got him back. back. Yeah, 100%. But um, I don't might... know who their backup point guard is right now. I know they lost Jalen Brunson, but uh, I'm not sure who their backup point guard is. I'm not really too familiar with their bench. So I know, if I'm not mistaken, Norman Powell still on the, on the Mavericks team. Yeah. Uh, Finn Smith. Something uh, Doris Finney Smith. I don't know, man. Maybe so. <laughs> what I'm saying with the Mavericks, that, that's that's my biggest point. Yeah, like, here's yeah. my point. Who do the Mavericks have behind those two? I think yeah. if you build a good bench, you have a good run for the championship. Bro, this, is my team. this is one who's on the bench. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll be honest. But I know I know if the Mavs get into a good rhythm, and trust me, they will. We believe in you, Luca. Well, he believes in you. I I, 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 I need you to lose. Bro. Okay, I need you to lose. <laughs> Especially going against my sons. I need y'all to lose. Please. Look, all I'm saying is this, Luca has the potential to be the greatest NBA player of all time. He has the potential. I'm not saying he is going to be. I'm not saying he he can, whatever the case may be. I'm saying he has the potential to be the greatest of all time. Because the fact of what he's doing in his first four, I think, fifty five years in the league that he's been in, yeah. ludicrous. Yeah. With Michael Jordan numbers, LeBron James numbers, yeah. Larry Bird numbers, Magic Jogging numbers. But anyways... Hey, bro, it's just it's going to be exciting playoffs this year. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting playoffs. Exciting playoffs. I'm ready for it. We'll see what happens. Hey, we will. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Aside from that, you guys know, like the video. <laughs> like the shit. Hit that subscribe button as well on our side. And more importantly, hit that notification button so you guys are notified when we're dropping these videos. But until next time, let us know what you guys think. Luca, go out there, kill it. And uh, we're out. Peace. Oh.